everyone, welcome back to 5 Day Crypto. My name is Chase. Today is Friday, March 5th of 2021. And today we're going to talk about Chainlink. If you're new to this channel, we focus on bigger time frames, more charts, more facts, less hype, less news. So if you're new and you like the content, please give us a thumbs up, a subscribe, follow us on Twitter, on Telegram. And we do have a new Patreon account if you'd like to learn more. If you just want price updates on each individual coin day to day. We make 10 new videos a week. My YouTube videos are fine for that. If you'd like to learn more and actually educate yourself in ways to make more money and lose less money, that's what I created Patreon for. So if you want to learn a little bit more, follow us on there. It's an intro rate of 35 a month. If you don't like it after a month, you can just drop off. There's no commitment or anything like that. I have a feeling though, you're going to learn enough that you're going to want to stick around. So without further ado, let's get started on Chainlink. I wanted to start on the two hour and show you a little bit about trend lines and how you can tell if an uptrend or downtrend is being broken. And the two hour, you know, we don't normally focus on smaller time frames, but just as an example to show you what I'm talking about here, this is a perfect kind of setup for what I'm trying to explain. So on your uptrends, as you can see this uptrend, right? Hopefully you can see that. If not, and you're really brand new, I mean, you can see this like kind of channel between these two lines, right? Okay, so on uptrends like this, you want to draw your trend lines on the bottom. On downtrends, we draw it on the top because you're looking for the break of those lines. You're already going down, so you want to look for a break up. If you're already going up, you want to look for a break down. Hopefully that makes sense to you. So what we can see, usually you want to have more than two touch points, but two is the minimum. See, we had a start down here, touch a couple touches up here, and some more up here. You can see when we break a downtrend, it's usually a, a bigger candle, and then you're usually followed with a confirmation with your second candle. Here is our second one. We didn't even get back above our trend line, and we were rejected all the way down. So now we're in this downtrend, right? And you're going to stay in that until you break back above it. And look what we've just done. Break back above it, through it. We've held our second candle. So as of four hours ago, or two hours ago, right, we are in our uptrend. So this is your line that we need to watch if we're going to go back into a downtrend. So that's just something to look for. If you were to see something like this on a daily or weekly or monthly time frame, that'd be much bigger news. And you want to really pay attention to uh, bigger time frames like that. On, on, you know, like I said before, this is only two hours, so don't read too much into this. I'm just showing you as an example how to look for these lines. You can draw this. You can go on Trading View. They have free trials, and you can you can practice with this all you want. So. Just wanted to show you that to give you something to watch for, just a little bit of education. So on our big trend, this is on the daily now, chain link, we are currently coming right up to our 21 day moving average. We are like right on it now, right? Almost to the penny. So look on the left here, 28.18 right now. We are currently at 28.12, 28.13. By the time you watch this, We've either broken this or gotten rejected from it, likely. So if we get rejected and start moving back down, our next area for support is where we just banged off of, right down here at the 50-day. That's 25.77 currently. That will drop slightly as we start going down, but 25.70, 25.60, I would imagine, would still be the price if we go back down there. If we were to break through this slightly, you see we have still have three hours until our close of day. If we break through this, that would be a good sign. Our next candle, we want to come back up again. And you can see when we got up here last time, we weren't able to hold it as support. So that's why we went back down to our 50 day. Now we're trying to break through it again. So if we go up and then we come back down, we need to finally hold that 21 day as support and not resistance, and then we can continue our move up. Bitcoin is back above 49K right now, so that's a good sign. We want Bitcoin to stay above its 21 moving average, as you can see here. Now, this is kind of a bullish candle because the longer wick on the bottom is a good sign. Look at this candle. Looks very similar to what we're in now. So if this closes here or higher, that would be great. 
then we would hopefully get another closing candle as we can start pulling away from this 21 day for Bitcoin that would allow Link and other altcoins to start moving again. So that's what we want to look for. If we go out to the weekly, we're still well away from our 21 week. At some point, Bitcoin will test that. I would imagine when Bitcoin does, Chainlink and the rest of altcoins will as well. But we're still almost 40% above that. There's a lot of coins that are even well higher than that. Uh, I think Cardano is still over 100% above its 21 week. So as long as you're up there, we're good. You can see, usually we'll come back and test our previous local top, which was right on $20. But we came very close to this, as we did with Bitcoin as well already. Going back to Bitcoin's local top, which was just over 42, right? We came very close to that on the weekly as well. That could be all we need. We don't have to retest these to the dollar or to the penny or anything like that. If you come close to retesting your previous local top, you have the momentum to start moving back up in most cases. It doesn't mean it's going to happen for sure, but Bitcoin hopefully can just move sideways as you saw in our video from earlier this morning. If the longer it can move sideways, the better chances that Link and other altcoins have to repeating moves like this and having another alt season before Bitcoin retests its 21 week, which will be coming at some point, hopefully later than sooner. But that's what we're gonna look for for Chainlink for this weekend. Watch those two levels, the 21 day, the 50 day, if things get out of hand and start moving way up or way down, maybe I'll link another video or a live stream or something like that. Uh, but yeah, that's what I have for you. We make a bunch of new videos every week. So if you're new, just leave us a like. We'd appreciate it. If you want to subscribe and learn some more, do that as well. But happy Friday, everybody. Appreciate you sticking around for this long in a video. If you got any questions, feel free anytime. Leave me a comment below. Join our free Telegram, or if you want a private Telegram, we have our Patreon as well. You get that included. You get a free weekly bonus video from me on there. Uh, more educational stuff, like I said. Uh, we do daily chart updates on Patreon. Those are every day, not things I show on here or anywhere else. So appreciate it, guys. Have a great weekend. If I don't see you before then, I'll catch up with you Monday. Thanks so much. 50 gold stars going into the weekend. Maybe we'll see you. If not, next week it is. Have a good one.